All right, check it out. I want to share with you a pretty cool shovel. I've had a couple shovels in my day, and you need them when you're off-roading. You never know when you're going to have to dig yourself out. Camping, hiking, great tool to have. I've had two before. $60 to $100 range. My $60 broke. It didn't last long, so all I have left from that $60 shovel is this bag. And my $99 shovel was okay. Nowhere near like this one, and I sold it with a truck recently, which I'll uh, share a picture of that truck. And that shovel gave me a whole idea of how to mount it on your truck. So first of all, check it out. And up top you have a period correct confer roof rack with a shovel axe, some recovery boards. Actually use, if you ever do this on a confer and you use a smitty built, um, mount you got to do some a uh, little bit of dremel drilling on it so that shovel uh, along with the axe was put on a confer old school rack on that truck this one has a family roll cage so it's you know it's got all bars no roof rack because i don't have the hard top on right now uh, i will and i'll do another mounting setup but to have it on the roll cage, I was kind of thinking, how do you do that? So I came up with some pretty cool solutions, which I want to share with you. And it's something you can add to your off-roader or UTV or Jeep. So um, subscribe and check out that video. But first, this video, I just want to introduce you the shovel that I'm going to be you know, uh, using in my application. And uh, this is built in China, right? So sometimes we think, oh, China is not going to be good quality. This is an exception. This is an incredibly built shovel. And I know because I've had a couple. This one's not going to break on me. And if I drove over it and broke it, it's got a six-year warranty uh, from these guys. So pretty cool. Um, when they make this, it's almost like medieval times, like when they make swords where they heat it and heat it again and heat it again. So they do that with this. So here's the modular, why this is so great. Because when you order it, for instance, this, this is how it comes. It comes in this small box this so nothing huge right and in this cool little bag and this bag is top quality probably worth more than one of my other shovels in its own and then all your parts are inside right so like so and when you take them out this is what you get so shovel head off next piece and what one thing I did want to share and which is pretty cool is if you notice this little rubber gasket around it so when you close it, it, it's like a seal, a water seal, tight, airtight, pretty darn well constructed. So as we take it apart, so kind of deconstructing, you got a harpoon here on this side, little mini saw. You have a bottle opener, and then these pieces screw in, right? I didn't have that one all the way screwed in on purpose, so you can see that screws into this piece because you can put it where you want um, in the modular handle. Next piece comes off, blade, super sharp. Um, fight off the bears with this. Uh, but I think a better solution than fighting off the bear is the next little piece is a whistle. So you can SOS, get attention, get help when you're out in the wild or scare off large animals. And then last but not least, this last piece up top has a, a you know, you can put a GoPro or mount your camera and fire starter so pretty darn cool also in the whole package you get rope i don't know how long this is 10 feet of rope i think eight or ten feet and then you get a saw string so rings on each side and a, a saw string to cut through stuff but all in all um pretty darn cool i'll try to put it together here quick to show you how quick you can Put this together when you hit your campsite or when you need to use it if it's all apart but when i put this on the truck it's going to be already all put together so i can just unhook it quick with a quick release and um let's see what comes next and then dig myself out on the trail if need be and if i want to go hiking go get wood for the fire or something i can put it into this backpack you know i'd say this is eight pounds so it's not super light because it's not cheap materials this is well built very well built so I'm screwing in that last piece and then the shovel head 
But when you, when you feel this, it's it's solid. It's not cheap material. Well built. Presto. So there it goes. And on my wheel on the back, you know, I can mount it something like that. Do a cool mount. Use my uh, broken shovel at the uh, remnants of my shovel head cover and put it like that. Because all these military shovels, they're all about the same size. You look at it and you think, well, that's super small. You know what? It does the job. And it could be um, all, you can see that, uh, just by the click of a button. And it can be a backhoe or a hoe, I should say, at the same time. Like so. All right. So that shovel is going on the application of putting this on my rig. So here in my next video, so subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified when the next video comes out. But check out all these awesome roll cage mounts. So I will show you how those work. In my case, you can see the opening here. That's two inches because I have a two inch bar. But if you have one and a half or one and three quarters, which is popular with ATVs and some Jeeps, um, Obviously, you can mount and just order a different size. So I got a smaller size here, bigger size here. But I'm going to show you some tricks that I'm going to use. These are meant to hold a fire extinguisher. They're fire extinguisher mounts. There's no shovel mount. There's no axe mount unless uh, you get that smitty built that I showed you in the picture of my truck for a roll bar. There's nothing out there. So I got cool equipment here from Joker Machine. They make this one right here. They also make, uh, that's a... For a roto pack fuel pack uh, this is joe's racing and this is ajk off-road so i will put them all to use see which one's best for which application oh and that one uh, is from the manufacturer of the fire extinguisher so that one's pretty cool and almost all of these are aluminum 6061 so good quality well-built um, components so we will check it out. We'll look at the ease of use. Uh, there's one more mount I'm actually waiting for. Um, so as soon as I get that in, should be in the next day or two, I will post. But these mounts aren't cheap. These are on average about 160 bucks each. Um, but they're high quality, right? And you want to make sure they're not going to rattle around when you're driving. So I will get that video produced here quick. I will unwrap the green machine, it rained here uh, last night, so that's why it's covered. And a uh, pretty cool cover, Home Depot, little camouflage cover, better than just something gray or black, right? Kind of have it blend in. And uh, yeah, the shovel I recommend is this. Again, it's, it's not cheap. These go for about 230 bucks or so. Um, I'll put a link below. I talked to this company saying, hey, if I get a whole bunch, can we get a discount? Maybe I can offer it to some of my viewers. And they said, nope, price fix. They want to keep that price point. But it comes with the bag as well. Um, and again, this is, this is a top quality bag, quality zippers everywhere. So well done, well built, and looking forward to sharing that video with you. All right, so subscribe, check it out. I will do that video ASAP. And... Um, yeah, hopefully give you some great ideas to outfit your off-roader or uh, UTV with some cool components that are functional, but at the same time, make your truck look cool, right? All right, thanks.